everybody it's your girl Lacey here back with another video it's been a fat fucking minute since I've been back on this motherfucking bitch since I told you all to subscribe last <laughs> last time I was on here I was like oh my god guys I'm gonna move to Seattle and guess what bitch I'm up in fucking Seattle now and guess what it hasn't all been fucking cookies and roses and fucking petals and unicorns and fucking <sighs> all of that no it has not been it has not been <sighs> bitch what do I I don't even know what the fuck to start like I moved here uh, all I can say is it's like not what I expected like uh, like you know what's sad is a year ago today I like manifested or like I I there was a point in time where I wished I had everything I have now and now I have everything and I'm like yeah I don't know what this is really it I don't really know why? Mainly because, like, mental illness and stuff, and, uh, like, I don't know, kind of got, like, depression, anxiety, PTSD, what, what the fuck you want? What else, bitch? What, come on, what the fuck else can life throw at me? Uh, I, I always have, like, a lot of, like, uh, family issues, and, like, that didn't help, and then, like, and then had shit friends uh now i don't have friends because i <laughs> tried like cutting them all off and yeah so it's me myself and i and so that's why the motherfucking fuck i'm here because i'm by my motherfucking self in my apartment not because all my roommates moved out although one of them did that's fine whatever um but i'm actually alone in the apartment this week it's actually kind of cute but also kind of scary because i don't know sometimes i'm alone and it's great but then yesterday like, the thing about, like, just having depression and shit and, like, which I'm, like, literally, like, medicated for, but, like, honestly, like, it is not enough. Like, I, I need to up that motherfucking bitch up. Uh, and I'm working on it. I really am working on it. But sometimes my, like, thinking just goes south without me trying to think about that stuff. And I don't really like it, but it, it just does that. Uh, I wish it would stop. I wish it gets yeah, I wish it could stop because it, it's it gets really bad, bro. Like I, I get really bad thoughts. Um, I think I think like the other day I uh, part of it was because I realized I don't have anything to do for the first of the July. Tomorrow's fourth of July. I don't know if when I post this if it's gonna be fourth of July. I'm gonna try to post it tonight. But uh yeah, it's 4th of July, and I think I got, like, really sad, and then I started, like, what's the point of being here, and I don't even have anybody to enjoy life with, like, why am I here, and then I, and then I, like, start going down this, like, other thinking, I don't really know if I can talk about it on YouTube, can we talk, I'm not even monetized, so it doesn't even matter, yeah, I get, like, suicidal thoughts, and I'm like, yeah, I don't even want to be here, like, but, I don't know, I just, I'm too, like, I'm too creative with the ways I would want to do that to myself, um, and it takes like a lot of effort and also like procrastination is like you know like a good it's a good thing when you're like that so i think i'm just gonna like kind of like procrastinate at this point i'm trying to like raw dog out life i really don't like it i prefer not to like i don't know how to explain it other than i don't think i'm supposed to be in this like universe or like planet probably universe like bitch planet the fuck and yeah, sometimes I uh, I just don't think it's worth it, you know, I'm like, what the fuck are we doing here? I don't even know what the point of this is. I'm really not supposed to be here, bro. Like, my dad got a vasectomy. I wasn't even supposed to be born. Um, I was still born. I was in a fucking accident. Then, um, I don't know, like, had a fucking, like, heart transplant. Probably should have died from that, honestly. Honestly, I wish, I wish that never happened. Like, I, or, uh, <laughs> like, this is, it's, and it's hard to say that because I say that, but then it's like, but then I feel so selfish for saying that, and then I wish I wish somebody else had that chance, you know, because I feel selfish because like I don't even want to be here, which is a whole other thing I I struggle with. And then I don't know, I've done some sketch stuff that probably should have resulted in me not being here, but whatever, I'm still here. And then and then and then lately these thoughts, and then now I'm like really like I really shouldn't be here, like I should do something about that finally. And I don't know, all I know is like if I ever have to get like another heart transplant, I'm just gonna say no and just raw dog it out and just like try to live life up to the fullest as I can um, if the one I have fails. Um, yeah, I've never really talked about that, but whatever, that's the thing. Um, I don't know, life's hard, man. I, I, I lost a lot of really close friends, friends uh, some who have been on this channel, which, uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie, like, 
I miss them, but I would never want them back because they don't treat me the way I should be treated as a best friend. What the fuck? And it, you know, it hurts. It, it fucking hurts, you know. Um, it hurts. It hurts. So, basically now I'm just like working a lot because I'm trying to save money so I can do stuff and not have to work during the school year. <laughs> and next school year, I'm going to just try to make friends then. Oh, and my god, I, I go to UW. I got into UW. I got into the University of Washington, which is amazing because uh, I live right next to the campus. So that'd be pretty embarrassing if I didn't get in. But I got in, so that's great. On the, if all, oh my god. Also, when like they were releasing decisions, honestly, if they said no, I pr probably would not be making this video right now. Like, not gonna lie. Like, uh, there was a lot going on. Um, yeah. Now there's not much going on, but I don't know. I get I get sad. Like I feel like I feel like I have no like real relationships or like like literally with like anyone like anyone like or like I feel like I, I'm I just don't have people who understand me or my humor or my energy and like I feel like I'm not really surrounded by a lot of people who mesh well with me or like really get me like I have like there'll be people in the like I don't know like I just feel like I've been through like a lot of shit and like I feel like even like talking about that shit sometimes it, it, like nobody can be like oh yeah I've been through that like no what the fuck like no I don't have that and my nose I, oh yeah I got my nose pierced oh my god and like sometimes snot will like gather up in the bottom of here and it's just great because then it feels like I have a runny nose ah! and uh no but I just feel like uh it's, it's hard to relate to people. It's hard. It's... It really is, bro. I, I can't I can't relate to them mentally saying, what the fuck? Y'all have me on a fucking daily? What the fuck? Y'all's parents pay for your shit? What the fuck? Y'all got parents that pay for anything? What the fuck? Um, no, but I'm out here financially independent. You know what is funny? I once made a video on here saying, um, like, talking about how broke I was, and... I'm doing much better than that video, I'm not gonna lie, but, um, I have such bad anxiety that I'm, like, I, like, my brain tells me, like, I can't stop working because, because I, I have no, like, like, safety net, like, I, I don't have someone I can just go to and be, like, 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 family, you know, like, I can just be, like, oh, oh my god, like, something, like, an emergency happened, like, I need this, like, I, I can't do that. Time and time, if time and time, if I've learned anything in this fucking life, I can't fucking trust anyone but my motherfucking self. And so, that's why I'm fucking here trying to take fucking initiative of fucking getting my fucking goals. And so, I'm trying to make a video and I'm trying to create motherfucking content again. I think my personality should be out there again. I feel like just recently though, my mental health has been a bit better, but there's been a few things that have come up and have... I feel, I feel like I'm like trying to derail the process and I'm really not trying to go back there, bro. I'm really not trying to go back to like, to like how it was, especially like last winter, man. Oh, fucking January, dude. Fucking January. Fuck January, bro. Fuck January. I was going through so much, bro. So I'm like, ah. um, <laughs> yeah, some of like the darkest parts of my life, you know, like, I don't know, like, really dark things you know uh fuck i could cry right now i'm thinking about it what the fuck what the fuck <laughs> um yeah I, the, you know there's just like some shit like i i would never wish some of this some of the shit like i feel like i've had to like go through like this year alone fucking mer mercury or retrograde did I even say that right? I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. And I don't even know what I believe in anymore. I used to be super religious. Uh, and now I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a sorry. Looking up shit about like Buddhism. Because like some of the stuff I hear from them. I'm like, whoa, maybe that. Not, I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm not trying to get canceled right now. I'm just saying that like, I, I wish that I had something to believe in. I wish I had something to believe in because I feel like back when I was super religious and when I was younger, like when I was younger, younger, like high key I went through a lot of shit and I, I feel like I didn't, 
I didn't realize it or like process it until like literally like now that I was like oh that's really messed up like that should have not happened like no, that sh no one should have let it get that get that far and it did and you know it, it sucks realizing that as an adult because I'm like I would never I would never do that to like a child you know what I mean so it fucks me up what the fuck <laughs> anyways no, but when I was younger, I was like super religious. I, I grew up Catholic and I would pray every night and literally I would pray every night and I feel like just praying every night, um, you know, gave me some sort of comfort, you know, like if, if something bad happened, I, you know, I'd pray like, please, like let this stop happening. And I feel like prayer in a way is just like another form of like manifestation, you know, like, and I feel like because I feel like when I pray, like, I don't know, I just feel like things would, like, kind of go my way for the most part, and it, I feel like it didn't really start, I feel like it stopped go, go, going my way as I got older, and I started asking for, like, bigger things, because I'm fucking selfish, I, I got forbid, sorry, Lord, and, uh, yeah, and then I, and then I realized a lot of stuff, and I don't know, and I'm, I feel like, you know, now I'm like, wait, why would, why would God let that, you know, happen? I, why would an all loving God, an all good and gracious God, let that happen? You know, like, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't fucking know. But at least like prayer when I was younger, like I could, I was like comforted by the idea that someone is watching over me. And that I could, I could pray to somebody and, and tell them to like, to, to almost like say hi to, to my, 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 my grandma in heaven and our, our, my dog. <laughs> um, which that brings up like my dog died this year, like. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? I, I, me go on, I can't be doing this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, and I just got a text. <laughs> so many people. Um, yeah, you know, I, I don't know. Like, a lot of fucking shit happened to me this year. And, uh, I, I want to I, I have a new horizon. <laughs> I, I want to turn a new chapter in my life. And I, and I want to start creating videos again. And I, and I, I want to start, like, like, getting my personality back in a way. Like, I feel like just recently, uh, one of the jobs I work at, because I, I fucking have two jobs, fuck America. No, I'm kidding. Uh, love America. I love America, but I think there needs to be a lot done. So do I... <laughs> I don't even know what I just said. Anyway. Um, no, uh... On my, on my second job, I, uh, one of my jobs, I feel like, uh, you know, I've been acting more myself recently and I've been trying to crack more jokes and I feel like like that little like just like you know and we're just hearing people laugh at after you know things I say it's like so like meaningful like because of COVID and stuff I haven't really had like really meaningful interactions with a lot of people especially with like a lot of close people in my life like just like like leaving you know like it, it's it's nice um Knowing that I still have that in me because I feel like a lot of like, like the depression and stuff like really just like took it out of me, you know, like I, I couldn't, like I couldn't find, you know, humor in a lot of situations. Oh my God, why am I fucking am I crying? Oh my God, I'm taking my phone. What the fuck? Um, I hate crying. I hate crying. Uh, nowadays. <laughs> Me I used to fucking post videos like, oh my god, a compilation of me crying 50 times in my car. Because I was like, whatever, if I'm gonna fucking cry, I might as well like entertain some bitches out of it. But, um, you know, I, I just want to start being the person I want to be. And I know that the person I want to be would be doing this right now, or at least starting it, you know. So that's really why I'm here. At the at the end of the fucking day, I'm I'm tired of telling people I well, I love making videos. I want to start making videos, and and then I never do it, you know. And I um, I feel like part of it is just because like I've just been like 
like so down and like I just haven't been like feeling myself and that's why like I, I, I haven't been making those videos but um I do want to make an effort to make those videos um you know uh I don't know I, I hope even just talking about this um I hope some other people out there can can relate and like know that like you know it's so it's okay to fucking struggle it's okay to like not feel like yourself it's okay, okay to like literally have your just your fucking self to trust okay like sometimes that that's all some people have and it's so fucking gay like you're gonna be okay and, and i hope i hope any of you who are feeling like that out there really find it within yourselves to like keep going even if you get these like really this nasty thoughts man like i i wouldn't wish some of this shit i've had to like endure this year like on anyone and like the pain i've i've felt i i wouldn't wish it on anyone you know um and, and it sucks i i feel like a lot of the shit i i had to deal with really like made me just such a, a hateful person and I might still be that person, but I'm, I, I really want to try to get away from that and try to, you know, be the person I was when I, when I first started, like, this YouTube channel, making videos and, and talking to people and everything. Like, I really want to start getting back to that um, and making people laugh and, and, and doing shit, you know, that, like, I don't know, it can, can take my mind off of, like, everything else I have going on in my life that is, like, so serious and so, like, uh, and, like, when, uh, just, like, so repetitive, I get, oh, what the fuck, bro, what the fuck, um, so, yeah, you know, it's, it's funny, because I remember, um, one of the first times I ever filmed me crying, it was right after watching a video by Drew Monson, uh, if, if you don't know who Drew Monson is, he's one of Shane Dawson's old friends that, like, I don't even think they're friends anymore, because, Shane Dawson although like I, I even used to watch Shane Dawson like I'm not gonna lie and like growing up like I feel like just having somebody to like who watch and like keep me company it did help when I was growing up I'm not trying to like fucking back up Shane Dawson or saying I support like any of the behavior he says but like the fact that he had those kind of videos it kept me comfort and through that you know I, I would watch his other friends and Drew Monson was definitely one of them I found very entertaining and I remember back in like I want to say like 2017 I watched one of his videos he's like talking about like just being like sad and like lonely <laughs> and um I remember I was like oh you know like you know what maybe I should just like it felt so nice to hear like someone else like going through that like it were like someone like experiencing that you know like I, like I wasn't alone and um I remember right after that I like filmed a video of me crying because I my friends were really shitty to me so and here I am the uh, life always comes back in circles it always does so I hope, I hope you guys know I'm back. I hope this is a fresh new start for me and that I'm able to continue this. Um, I want to start getting better at talking to, in front of the fucking camera. I'm, I'm literally, like at UW, I'm, I'm double majoring <laughs> in political science and journalism. So, oh, you know, if I, my ultimate dream, I hope, oh my God, there's like snot coming down. Ew. Ew. Uh, my ultimate dream is I hope I can like have a, a TV show one day where I interview celebrities but like we go out and do really cool things and like really like on a deep personal level though like I can talk to them like yo like what the fuck is up with this like let's get into that like well, like like explain to me like from your perspective like no bullshit like I I just want to know like you know or just talk about topics that people, I feel like, just don't fucking talk about in media for whatever the fuck reason. Like, I don't fucking know. Um, I would love to have that. Uh, that being said, I, I, I don't even want people to fucking 
jump to conclusions because it's so hard for me to explain my vision because it is so broad and out there that I don't think many people can comprehend what it is I'm, I want to do, if that makes any sense. Certain fucking people out there, shut the fuck up. Uh, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But, um, yeah, so this is my TED Talk. Thank you for coming. Um, your girl seems back. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day. And uh, stay fabulous out there, bitches. Bye. <laughs>